every fan base of every project has a certain percentage of crazy people. This craziness can manifest differently. Some may cosplay a character that is clearly not his body type, gender, or even appearance that's making a fool of themselves. Some will have a more strange relationship with characters, events, or even the universe of the project. Some might create their own story branches or fanfics of different levels of success. But to me, the scariest people in all fan bases are those who willingly associate themselves with villains. You know who I'm talking about. Ah, oh, me and Darth Vader are so similar. When I grow up, I want to be just like Kaisen. Oh, Azula is so sexy. Pooh. And the bad part of this is not that they want to be madman villains or psychopaths. They're too cowardly or fat to follow their idols anyway. What I am more interested in is what kind of a shitty life do they live that they decided that this is the perfect role model for them. Still, what to do when all characters are assholes. Himoto Umaru-chan to me is a good example that people's quality of life had drastically worsened in the 21st century if this is considered to be a role model for someone. Why? Let's find out. This is a comedy about an everyday life of Umaru. Essentially a female Jesus incarnation and the only thing she can't do is shit granulated kindness and cry rainbows. This is, however, her outdoor persona. The second she enters her house, she turns into your typical internet denizen, a hardcore nerd, and the biggest manipulative bitch in existence. In other words, she's a sociopath. And that's where the comedy part of this show usually happens. The other important characters are a workaholic brother who works in an office and essentially earns money only to pay bills, food, and any of his sister's whim, as well as three walking anime cliches that in context of this show are especially irritating. A clumsy schoolgirl, an autistic schoolgirl, and a chuny schoolgirl that intrusively competes with Umaru in literally everything. Essentially, the point is, they all want to be her friends, but can't because they can't socialize her shit. I hate every single character in this story. I hate Umaru because she's a manipulative bitch. I hate her brother because he's a spineless little bitch and obeys her sister's every whim. I hate the rest of the characters because they're bland and do not contribute anything of value. Like, seriously, those who watch the anime, can you remember the names of these characters, with the exception of the Chuni one, since shouting her name for any reason is literally a part of her character? And of course you can say that I overreact or that's the point, you know, but that's the most irritating part for me. The characters do not change. And why would they? They're fine as it is. Here lies the biggest flaw of all this, at least from the story perspective. Bad people do not change, or at least get their motivations explained. Their arc remains as straight as this line, and about as interesting. And you know what's the most saddest part? in all of this? I knew this was gonna get popular from the start. Art of marketing is the art of crowd control, and they ain't no fools in them studios. They know what people want, and they give it to them, thinking that even if the sales flop, it can turn cult classic and make them money in that way. All these macros, memes, and other crap with Umaru aren't appearing out of nowhere. They appear because people found a part of themselves in her, which honestly speaking makes me dread about the future of mankind. Though in the end of the day, who cares? Let's work for me once I get out of here. Thank you.